Hello, hello. Hi, everyone. I'm Erica G, and I'm a Pocketboard mentor and the founder of Pocketboard.co. I'm doing this quick video from my office slash yoga room slash living room to explain the difference between product managers, technical program managers, and project managers. I get this question a lot. What's the difference between a product manager, a program manager, a project manager from people that are coming from outside of big tech industries and even confusion from people within big tech because different companies like Amazon, for example, has a technical product manager role and Google does not. And so that can often cause some confusion for people that are looking to transfer between these companies. So today is all about explaining the difference between these roles so that you can decide which of them is going to be the best option for you as you think about pivoting your career, transitioning to a new role, or even asking if you're in the right role today. So a product manager is the first one we're gonna talk about. So product managers at large tech companies tend to have technical backgrounds that are relevant to the type of product that they're building. So for example, if you are a product manager working on semiconductors, you probably have a background in electrical engineering or computer engineering, but you aren't a practicing engineer. You are a product manager. Your job is to understand what is the product that the market needs? What is the product that users need? And then what does that product look like? What does it need to do? How does it need to be able to do it? And what does it need to be packaged like so that users are able to enjoy it and use it for all of its value? If we were looking at every product or every team within a tech company, product managers are gonna be kind of like the CEO of this team. Their job is to sell the product within the company, to sell the product out to users, to understand user needs, um, they do things like resourcing, they understand you know, the market needs, they try to understand everything that users want and need, and then they try to convey that to the engineering team in a way that the engineering team can build it. So the currency or the kind of typical work artifact of a product manager is going to be a document called a PRD. A PRD stands for a product requirements document. Product requirements documents at many companies, there's a lot of variability. So for example, at Google, they tend to be more visionary and they tend to be pretty short and they tend to focus on what is it that the user needs and how at a very high level are we going to be able to build this. So a day in the life of a product manager tends to look like a lot of understanding the market, understanding competitors potentially, understanding user needs, dropping in on design sessions with users, research sessions, focus groups. They tend to do a lot of data analysis and data synthesis to understand what unmet market needs exist or unmet user needs exist. And then they spend a lot of time working directly with engineering teams on the actual development of the product. Product managers have the unique responsibility of being responsible for both defining what we need to build and then also ensuring that it lands in the market, that users are able to use it, that they're getting the most value out of it, that it was designed properly in a way that drives value to the user. And so they tend to work really closely with engineering teams on execution details. What features are we building in this release? What is going into this hardware design? Um, how are we going to test it? They're really involved in execution in addition to defining the strategy for the product and the design of the product. Um, and then the third thing that I, that I find that I spend a lot of time doing as a product manager is I spend a lot of time thinking about what's next. Like what is, you know, using data, using information from users, just really thinking ahead. Um, product managers tend to be very involved in planning processes. So what does the team need to look like in six months, two years to fulfill the product strategy that we have for this product that we're building? Um, so the other thing they spend a lot of time doing is, is working with leadership um, and trying to explain and convey through roadmaps, which are another key resource uh, and artifact that product managers create. So what are we gonna build on what timeline and what is it going to take helps the business plan for what engineering resources are needed, what testing resources, how much money we need to spend on user research, marketing, getting the product out. Okay, so that's product manager. So if any of that resonates with you and you're like, oh man, that day in the life sounds awesome. Uh, that might be a great job for you. Product management jobs tend to be some of the hardest jobs to get in tech companies. They're pretty uh, important roles for the company, for the users, for the business. And so the bar is pretty high to get a product management job. Um, you can check some of our other videos to learn more about product management and learn if this might be a good career path for you. Okay, moving on to our next career in tech, the technical program manager. So 
Like product managers, technical program managers tend to have technical backgrounds. So they probably studied some form of engineering. Maybe they studied a science degree. They probably were a practicing engineer for a number of years before they became a technical program manager. And if product managers, also called PMs, are the CEO of the company or the team that they're operating in, then the technical program managers are something like the COO of that team. They are concerned with how are we going to get this thing built and out the door? But technical program managers live in the world of how. How are we going to break this into chunks? How are we going to deliver this? How are we going to test this? How are we going to communicate it? How are we going to ensure that all of our users, stakeholders, internal shared teams that have dependencies on us are all aware of what we're building, when it's going to be ready, and when they can use it? How are we going to test it? How are we going to secure it? How are we going to make sure it's privacy compliant? Technical program managers are all about how we're going to get this product built and out the door. So technical program managers tend to live in the world of spreadsheets and project plans. And project plans can be created in lots of different tools. There's dedicated tools, but then also many TPMs, technical program managers that I've worked with, and me myself as a technical program manager, tend to manage my schedules um, using a variety of tools and techniques but generally, you're always going to know if you have a good technical program manager, they're going to have a schedule and they're going to be thinking about all of the interworking parts and interconnected activities that need to happen on what time. They're going to understand the risks in particular of every effort, and they're going to try to constantly be trying to bat down those risks. And they're going to be trying to control the likelihood that the schedule and the product are going to land on time as expected. And when things are going out of whack, their job is to make sure that they communicate, build risk mitigation strategies, and that they detangle these issues as quickly and resource efficient as possible to get the product or uh, project or program back on track. So if that sounds interesting to you, you should check out some of our other videos. We have tons of mentors on Pocketboard that mentor and coach people on uh, technical program management, how to get the job, how to land the job, how to thrive in the role. And that takes us to our third title, the project manager. So you're not gonna hear about project managers a lot at the big, big tech companies. So I'm talking about the FANG companies or maybe they're called Mang now because Facebook changed its name to Meta. But at the Fang Mang companies, you're not gonna hear a lot about project managers. Amazon does have project managers, but not, um, but most of the tech companies focus on program managers. Now let's start with the difference between a project and a program manager, okay? So a project manager is concerned with how we're gonna get things done, but usually in a specific um, predetermined way. They have a project that they have been given or maybe they have planned and that project has a set timeline. It has a set budget and their job is to make sure that that project gets delivered on time within the budget at the quality level that's expected. Programs are more strategic initiatives. So a program is something that doesn't have a definite timeline. A program is comprises of projects um, so you may have a program around um, delivering a product. There's no end time for the product, but there are a bunch of projects that you need to do to build that product. Program managers tend to be more strategic in nature. Their focus is on the strategic goals. We need to build this product that does this amazing thing for users. We need to build this service that fills this gap in the market. We need to address the needs of these employees or users in a certain way and they are objective driven. Project managers are also driven by objectives. But those objectives are project objectives. They are time bound. A project manager is more focused on what we're going to get done and that we're going to get it done within a set period of time. The reason that big tech companies focus on hiring program managers over project managers is that every program manager has been a project manager. In fact, almost everyone in almost every career in the world has been a project manager. Every one of us in our everyday lives manage projects, okay? So all program managers have been project managers, but not all project managers know how to think strategically about how their project or projects interact with one another to create a larger whole, to create more value for the business, for the users, for the efforts that we're going through. And so the reason that the big tech companies focus on hiring program managers is they want people that can execute, that can get the, you know, how are we gonna get this done and deliver the what? 
but they also want people that think strategically about how we're going to get there. And they constantly are asking, why are we doing this this way? So we can constantly reinvent and constantly rethink the way that we're doing things. The other reason that big tech companies hire program managers is program managers tend to be more systems thinkers. So they focus on, you know, not just getting this thing done once, which is a project, right? A project is we're going to get this thing done once. I don't know if we'll ever do this again. We're going to get it done once. Program managers think about process. They think about, okay, if we're gonna you know, be building software for the next X years on this program, let's think about the most efficient and effective way to build software, and then let's optimize for that. I wanna highlight one additional reason that someone would choose to be a project manager over a program manager. So obviously, if you're going for a job at one of the big Fang Mang companies, you are not really going to have a lot of options to go in through a project management channel. You're going to have to get project management experience elsewhere and then bring that with you into your program management role at the Fang Mang company. However, there are some big advantages to being a project manager. So I realized at the end of my first video take here that I really didn't highlight what's great about being a project manager. So one of the things that I loved about being a project manager was the fact that your projects are time bound, which means they end. And when they end, then usually you get a little bit of bench time and you can look around and think about, okay, what other projects would I be interested in working on? So if you do have that strategic thinking mindset, you can actually, you know, wrap up your project and then think about, okay, what would be the next step? that would help me develop as a professional. Do I have, what do I want to work on? <laughs> then try to find a way into that project. Being a project manager has a lot of variety to it. And I think that's really fun versus as a program manager, you tend to be dedicated to that program for a longer period of time. Just wanted to highlight that one um, important difference between project management and program management. So as you're thinking about whether project management is right for you or program management is right for you, you can think about that uh, unique facet of project management as well. So quick recap. Product manager, CEO of the product and the group, they're concerned with what we need to build. Technical program managers are like the COO of the group. They're making sure that things get done and they're concerned with how we do our work from a process standpoint and from a delivery standpoint. And last but not least, project managers are the tactical get things done arm of the team. They take on gnarly complex projects with defined objectives and define timelines and budgets, and they make sure everything gets done and that we deliver what we need on time, on budget, and with the quality expectations that we have for the company. That wraps us up. That is a definitive explanation from my perspective uh, as a person who has been a project manager, a technical program manager, and a product manager, the differences between these roles. And hopefully I highlighted some key differences so that you can understand which of these is going to be a good fit for you based on your background, your expertise and experience, your interests, your goals, and how you like to spend your time. All right. So I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, please remember to subscribe and ring the bell so that every time our mentors publish new videos, you can be one of the first people to view them. If you enjoyed my mentoring and if you're thinking about projects versus technical program management versus product management careers and you'd like to talk to me or one of our other wonderful Pocketboard mentors, check us out at pocketboard.co. You can find the direct link to my mentoring profile in the description of this video.